hello my name is D I share homemaking videos couple videos and just emphasize on the family and the attack against marriages and families so today I am sharing about this um, Ghanaian youtubers Ni and Ajay and I've seen a, a lot of their videos just before we go into the meat of this video I just want to tell the singles, if you are watching me and you are a single um, woman, man, that you are looking forward to be in marriage, that the partner that you choose matters, okay? I know especially for us women, um, we are lied to a lot that, you know, boss chick, you're going to go into the marriage and you're going to call the shots, be confident, know who you are. As if, if you go into the marriage, all these things are going to make everything work <laughs> in your favor. You need to choose a partner that knows the purpose of marriage, that needs to, that knows where um, you two want to go, where God is taking you to. Let me tell you, you know what, let's jump straight into the video. A lot of marriages you see out there are a couple that are just taking each other's nonsense that is the truth and it's not as crazy as people have made you to think it is just the humbling and beautiful place of marriage and I titled this video the pretense because I think when other couples or I don't know if people forget when they see other people being vulnerable and sharing their marriage stories with us they are like oh how can me do that you know i was watching all these reaction videos and they're like he's oh narcissist blah 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 and i'm like these are common things that happen in marriage and that's why it's important who you are going into the marriage with because when these things come up when there comes a the time where the man you feel like your man is not listening to you when there comes the man where at the time where you feel like the burden of the household is just too much when there comes a time where your characters are just not beautiful, you need to come together and go through it and come out of it. Because that is where God actually wants to meet the two of you and make you more like him. So marriage is full of the things that me and Ajay, they share with us. They are just being open enough. It, it, it's, it's nothing, it's, it's not out of the ordinary. For new couples, when you get into marriage, especially when you get in and you immediately have kids or you, you get in and there's a big transition, like maybe new job or low income or increase in income, you will come to a place where you have to make decisions and your true characters will come out. Because dating is not the same as being in marriage. Um, there's a video that we made. Um, you can check it out. I made this video with my husband. And we shared a lot about the fact that what you experience before marriage, when you enter marriage, totally different. Because now you live with the person 24-7. Now you know that this is my woman and I can be plain with it. I know some people think like, now nah, the man is taking advantage. But... He can't be pretending forever. Um, maybe when you were dating, he couldn't be vulnerable enough, but now he can be vulnerable. And now is the time for you two to work together. Never see your issues as hmm, this man. See it as the enemy and the two of you are one and going to fight that enemy. So I just came to say that these are very real marriage situations that these people shared with us. And you know the thing with, with us women is that everything has been made about us, you know. Ah, oh, you have been abused. Ah, oh, you're the one who had the baby. Ah, oh, you, you postpartum is so hard. And we do not, sometimes we don't realize how much these men are equally going through what we are going through. But it's hard for them to show anything because number one, since birth, They've told men not to show their emotions. They've told men uh, you have to be the bigger person. The thing is that you can, <laughs> when you battle your emotions, are in, they don't stay there. They come out another way. So men normally, um, they will isolate themselves or because that's how they've coped throughout growing up. They will isolate themselves and they will try to fix their issues. 
by themselves. And that's one thing I want to tell you if you are a single man going into marriage, that yeah, you have that thing of going to sit somewhere and think about your issues, but you should realize when it's not going into that extreme phase so that you come back to your home and confide in your wife. You, you will speak to your wife. And AJ mentioned something about going through phones and all that. I think that we, we being skeptical about your spouse is also normal because we are not perfect. It's a broken world. And I think that searching your spouse's phone would depend on where the couples are in their marriage. So it really differs. Um, but searching or not searching is not going to protect you from anything because people believe that, oh, don't search so that you don't get a heart attack. But whether you search or not search, the issue, if there's something going on, it's still going on. You will find out one day um, or it's still going to harm you even if you do not find out. They say what you don't know won't kill you. That's a lie. It will still kill you. It's just that you would not know that's what it's killing you. But I wanted to say that that was a good video they shared about, you know, the divorce where ne uh, AJ wanted divorce. And I think it's, it's really common in marriages, especially in the beginning when you're having so many transitions, you have to grow together. And growing is not easy. Even when you plant stuff, you have to water, the sun will come. Sometimes it, It's a painful thing, there's sorrows and all that. Um, the most important thing you understand is, is that is the world against you too. Oh, there's one last thing I wanted to share. Do not think that you can't confide in people. Just make sure that you have a, a biblical person, a biblical woman, um, elderly or young. It can be any age, really. I love elderly women. And so that you can get biblical advice. Um, sometimes the advice, I mean, there was a time I seeked advice and one side was like, Oh, that's normal. Men do that. Just, you know, retail therapy. So long as he gives you money, just shop and forget about that. And another person was like, well, why does this bother you so much? Do you want us to go to the root of why it bothers you too much? These two people had the same solution for me. Okay. All of them were just saying, oh, this is, is just give him time or just ignore something like that. He's going to come around. But... The way they wanted me to do it was different. One was saying I should just be shopping just to, you know, be this person to forget about it. And the other person was like, well, since you've ha having it so hard, maybe we can visit the root. Maybe you have some t things to deal with. So it it's just really important you know who you are seeking advice for. But do not get into that place of saying, I will not share anything with anyone. That is so dangerous. That is dangerous. I'm not saying me is a person that will corner you and abuse you, but normally if somebody's watching you who is in an abusive relationship, it, it can be harmful to them because that's what their spouse might be telling them. Like if they're in a relationship with a narcissist, like you tell people our problems, you tell people our problems, that's because they do not want this person to get help. So I'm not saying me doesn't want you to get help, but I'm sharing this for the sake of the people who might be watching you guys, that you have to share, you have to seek solution to your problems through counseling, premarital, post-counseling, post-marital counseling, but just make sure that you're going to the right source. So that will be all. I said that would be all the last time. I'm saying it for the last time. <laughs> Bye-bye. I'd like to see you back here. Subscribe to my channel if these videos are videos that you enjoy. Um, see you. Bye.